Hello kids! I hope you're all doing well and welcome to the second part of our Microsoft Word lesson. Before we begin, here are just a few reminders for us to follow whenever we are using our computers. Stretch every 20 minutes. Sit straight with both feet on the floor and make sure your eyes are about 2 feet away from the screen. When we make all of this a habit, we can avoid body aches and we can also do our work better. Okay, so before we proceed to our lesson objectives for this week, let us first have a short review of what we've learned from last week. I'll be pointing at the different parts of the Microsoft Word window and then try to name these parts. Are you ready? Let's start! What can we do with Microsoft Word? Did you think of this once? That's great! Let's get going with our objectives for this week. A. We will know how to open Microsoft Word. Enter and edit text in Microsoft Word. And save a document in Microsoft Word. How do we open Microsoft Word? First, click on the Start button. Next, from the list of your programs, click on Microsoft Office. And click Microsoft Word. text in Microsoft Word, first we make sure that our cursor is on the right place. Then we may start typing. So just remember uh, to use the proper keys when you type your text. So if we want to capitalize just one letter, what key should we press? Okay, very good. That's the shift key. And if we want everything to be in capital letters, just like this one, what key should we use? Okay, the caps lock key. Okay. To go down the next line or to start a new line, we press the enter key okay, and type the text. But if you want to uh, put the space between two lines, you may press the enter key twice. One, two, then start typing again. However, when you are typing paragraphs, you don't need to actually press the Enter key to go down the next line. Okay? Microsoft Word automatically wraps it uh, down the next line. So if I continue this paragraph, for example, so I didn't press the Enter key when I reached this point, Microsoft Word automatically puts it down on the next line. There. Again, if we want to start a paragraph or a new line intentionally, that's the time we can use the Enter key. And so on. Let us now see how do we insert text in our document. So, for example, we have the sentence, she is wearing a new silk dress. And we want to insert the word red between new and silk. How do we do that? Simply move your mouse pointer on the location of where you want it to appear. Click that part, then start typing the word. But let's not forget to put a space on that. There you go. 
So we were able to insert the word red between new and silk without having to erase the words on this part. What if we would like to erase or delete text in our document? So using the same sentence, she is wearing a new red silk dress, but we would be removing the word new. To do this, move your mouse cursor next to the word you would like to erase. Click on it, then press the backspace key until the word gets erased. So, whatever change we do to our document, whether we add text, we insert text, delete text, or even make a small letter into a capital one, that is called editing. Again, whatever change you do to your document, that is called an edit. Just a simple reminder whenever we are typing our document, spacing, capitalization, and punctuation marks, all of those are equally important. So do remember that when you start with your documents. When you're done with your document, you can now save it. How do we do that? First, click on the File tab. I currently have the older version of Microsoft Word. That's why I have the button on this side. Okay, but uh, in your computers, you may uh, look at the File tab. Next, click Save As. Then, select the destination folder or where you want to save it. Right now, I'm going to click Documents. Fourth, change the file name. After that, click Save. Once your document has been saved, you may already close the program by clicking the X button.